Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn about navigation component in Jetpack Compose. So in our previous videos, I have already used the navigation component in Jetpack Compose, but I thought let's make a detailed video about it. Hence, here we are. Now, we have used the navigation component in general, and to be honest, it's the same. Only the steps are different in Jetpack Compose. Okay? So, what is navigation component? It's a process through which you can navigate from one screen to another screen. Simple. Now, in the navigation component, we have three components. First is the nav graph, second is the nav host, and third is the nav controller. So, what is the nav controller? The nav controller manages all the navigation that takes place with the help of nav host and nav graph. Now, what are the nav host and nav graph? The nav host is associated with the nav controller that initializes the navigation. And the nav graph is present inside the nav host, which specifies the route or the destinations. Got it? Once the theory is clear, now it's time to implement it. So go to Android Studio. Step number one is to add navigation dependency. So go to Gradle, add the dependency. I will mention it in the description box. Click on Sync Now and done. Now come to the main activity. The project is very simple. There will be a main screen and a home screen. All we have to do is navigate from main screen to the home screen using a button and vice versa. Simple. Remove the default code. And done. Now we will create a composable function as main screen that will display text as the main screen and also a button that will help us to navigate to the home screen. So let me quickly create it. And then, see, here there is a column whose arrangement and alignment are in the center. Inside, we have a text that says the main screen with a font size of 30 SP. Then below it, a button with text as go to the home screen. Also, I have kept on clicked blank for now. Once we will implement the navigation component, then we will write the code here. Okay? Now, how do we implement the navigation component? So, we will create a separate composable function that will consist of a nav controller, nav host, and nav graph. Let me quickly create it. And then, here inside, first we need nav controller. So, this is how we initialize the nav controller using the remember nav controller. Then next, we require a nav host. So write a nav host whose syntax should look like this. The first parameter is the nav controller and the second parameter is the start destination. Our start destination is the main activity itself, which I will call as main screen as a keyword. Now, there are two ways to perform navigation. One is using keywords and the second is using sealed class. We will see both of them one by one. First, let's see using keywords. So our first screen is the main activity. Host keyword is main screen. Got it. Then inside the nav host, we have a nav graph. Here we are supposed to mention all the destinations, means all the screens. So our first screen is the main screen. So let's mention it here using composable. So write a composable. 
whose root is the keyword of the main activity, which is main screen. Then inside it, mention what will happen once we are on the main screen. So it should launch the main screen composable function. See, this is just the initialization of all the destination. This is not where the navigation is happening. Navigation will happen at the on click button. Got it? Now, for the navigation, obviously we will require a second screen that it should navigate to, right? And that screen will be our home screen. So let's quickly create a home screen, Kotlin file. And done. Now here we will create a home screen composable function that will display our text as home screen and below it a button that will help us to navigate back to the main screen. So let me quickly create it. And then again, I have kept on click blank for now. So come back to the main activity. Our main screen destination is declared here. So let's declare the home screen as well. And then this is the keyword for the home screen. Now, once everything is set up, let's write the code for on click. Here we require a nav controller, so declare it here inside the brackets. And then, then write here the nav controller dot navigate and inside it write the keyword of where you want the screen to navigate to. I want to navigate from the main screen to the home screen. Hence, I will write the keyword for the home screen. And then, the same thing we will do for the home screen as well. So declare the nav controller. Then write nav controller dot navigate to the main screen keyword. And then come back to the main activity. Make sure to pass the arguments. And also don't forget to call the display nav component method here inside the set content. And that's it. Now let's run the app and see. This is our main screen. And when I click on the go to the home screen button, here we are on the home screen. Now if I click on the go to the main screen button, look here we are on the main screen. Easy. This was our first method using the keyword. Now let me show you the second method using a sealed class. Now what is a sealed class? Sealed class consists of all the subclasses. So all you have to do is to create a sealed class called as destinations. And then here inside it we will create two objects that are main screen and the home screen with their respective keywords. So let me quickly write it. And then, see, our first destination is the main screen and the second destination is the home screen. Now come back to the main activity. 
Here, instead of keywords, we will use the destination class. So our start destination will be the main screen only, but using the class of destination. Look, this is how we write destinations dot main screen dot to string. And uh, similarly, here root is the destination main screen. And also here as well, root is the destination home screen. Then here also replace the home screen keyword with the destination home screen. And also don't forget to change the home screen class with the destination main screen. And then, now let's run the app and see. Look, it is working the same way. But, as you will notice here, when I click on the back button, instead of exiting from the app, it goes back to the previous screen. This is not recommended. Hence, to solve this issue, we use a popback stack, like this way. Also, make sure to write inclusive false. Inclusive which means whether the given destination should also be pop or not. So I said false means it should not pop. Now let's run the app and see. Go to the home screen. Perfect. Go to the main screen. Perfect. Now if I click on the back button. Look, the app is closed. And this is what we wanted, right? So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.